Today we're going to be comparing a Gorman Rupp Super T Series trash and sewage pump with one of its many competitors. We're going to be looking at the aspects that make a good quality self-priming sewage and trash pump. These include solids handling, maintenance aspects, safety aspects and reliability. Firstly to solids handling. Now each of these pumps should be able to handle a 3 inch spherical solid. So they should be able to handle this sphere through all passages within the pump, including the all important recirculation port. If anything gets caught in there during the priming process, the pump stops priming. So let's see how they go with this. Firstly, we're going to check out the Gorman Rupp pump and see how well it handles a three inch sphere. Now let's have a look at Gorman Rupp's competitor and see how well it handles the three inch sphere. Three inch. Nope. Two and a half inch. Nope. Two inch. Fits. So the Gorman Rupp can handle this. The competitor can only handle this. While on solids handling, a good wastewater pump should be able to handle stringy materials such as rags. That's why Gorman Rupp bought out this self-cleaning technology with a series of notches and grooves to help handle the stringy materials. Our competitor is still using 1963 wear plate technology. Looking at safety aspects, Gorman Rupp have introduced this lightweight inspection cover plate to allow operators easy access to pump internals. For operators of our competitor pump, they need to remove this very heavy, almost 30 kilo cover plate to gain the same access. Internal clearances wear on a wastewater pump. That's why Gorman Rupp came up with this clearance adjustment system. By removing this locking collar, I get access to this indexable locking collar. I roll it around by two detents, valve our ferrule back to relocate the hole. I relocate the locking screw, do that four times, and my internal clearances have been adjusted by 10 thousandths of an inch. Our competitor uses a clearance adjustment system at the rotating assembly side of the pump. So the rotating assembly needs to be backed off with these bolts, popped out, and then the clearance is adjusted with these grub screws. As can be seen, there's no indexing with them, so it's very difficult to get them all to exactly line up. The Gorma Rupp pump is fitted with an oil sight glass for the seal and a bearing oil sight glass. Our competitor only has one for the bearing oil and they rely on operators to remove this plug and use a dipstick to judge whether or not there's more oil needed in the seal oil. Also, Gorman Rupp uses this bulb type sight glass, a lot easier for the operators to see than this flat one of our competitor. For reliability, Gorman Rupp have built a very large oil reservoir for their seal oil, so the pump can run dry for long periods of time. The competitor pump has an extremely small seal oil reservoir. Preventing bearing and shaft failure is another reliability area for a trash pump. Our competitor uses a single lip seal to protect the bearings in case of a seal failure. Gorman Rupp uses a double lip seal with this atmospheric vent for triple protection. Gorman Rupp put 58 years into developing a pump that is safe for operators, easy to maintain and capable of delivering years of dependable service.